Alex Berman from Experiment 27, and these are some lessons from Peter Drucker on marketing and sales. Peter Drucker, as most of us know, uh, is the author of the book, The Effective Executive. Uh, he's also written a bunch of books on sales and selling and managing uh, and, and all this type of stuff. So he is one of the go-to uh, business writers. And in this video, I wanted to break down some of his tips, some of the things that I've learned reading his books and some of the things that you could take away if you don't feel like listening to The Effective Executive uh, on audiobook. So here we go. The purpose of a business is to create a customer is something that Peter Drucker has said, and it's true. So the first thing is marketing versus sales. So the difference between marketing and selling is more than a semantic, he says. He says that selling focuses on the needs of the seller and marketing on the needs of the buyer. So he says if you, if you call what you're doing selling, uh, you're actually focusing internally, like me-centric. You're focusing on everything you need to do to, to sell to somebody, whereas marketing, uh, it's more inbound. You're waiting for people to come to you, so you focus on the needs of the buyer and create a product that sells itself. That's, that's the difference between marketing and selling, according to Drucker. Number two is he wants people to study their non-customers. Uh, Drucker coined the term non-customers, which is pretty interesting. And he says the importance of finding out more about them and why they don't buy from you is almost as important as why people buy from you. So ask people on your calls, you know, why, are, why aren't you buying? Why aren't you buying today? Um, and I actually, uh, I started doing this maybe like a year ago and it's been extremely effective. It's, it's really scary at first when, uh, when you sense hesitation on a sales call. So like, let's say you're like most of the way through a sales call and you know in your heart that they're not sold. So like on a call, maybe someone will say like, okay, yeah, thanks for the info. And you know that they're brushing you off. You know they're not gonna buy. You can, you can ask, and I've asked on calls, um, hey, so what are the next steps? Like, how, how do you wanna move forward from here? And if they say something like, oh, I need to show it to my co-founder, or they say something where it's clear that they're not gonna buy from you, then you can say something simple like, is there anything else I can present you with to, to get you to, to help you with the decision or help your team with the decision? And they'll literally tell you everything they need, right? If, if it's trust, they'll say, hey, yeah, um, I'd really like to talk to some, uh, some um, past customers of yours to really learn about if, if you're bullshitting or not, right? Like that's, that's uh, underlying. They wanna talk to past customers to see if you're full of shit. Um, and they'll say that, right? If they don't trust you, they'll ask to talk to past customers. If they don't understand your offer um, and they're just not interested, They'll say, they, they'll most likely come clean at this point and they'll say, uh, yeah, I just, I don't really see a need for this. And then you can talk about the need, why they actually need the product. So that's the importance of finding out why they don't want to buy from you. One, it'll help you actually sell to these specific customers. But two, it'll give you more information on your product in the market, right? If people aren't buying from you left and right uh, multiple times and they fit your perfect target client, that means that something's either wrong with the way you're selling it or something's wrong with your product and needs to be improved. And number three from Peter Drucker is personal selling. He says, there will always, one can assume, be a need for some selling, but the aim of marketing is to make selling superfluous. The aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well that the product or service fits him and sells itself. This is especially important for services and actually goes back to the core of this channel, right? If you're not selling something that people actually need, you're gonna actually have to implement a bunch of tricks and, and do a bunch of skills to sell, right? I don't see myself as a skilled salesperson. I see myself as a skilled like asker of questions person. <laughs> there's, not, there's not like a clear name for that. A skill like asker, a questioner, skilled questioner, uh, able to find out you know, what's wrong with, uh, with a client's business right now and then come up with a solution. And that's where Experiment 27 comes in as a marketing uh, CMO for agencies, right? We found a problem in that most of these agencies don't have chief marketing officers or most marketing agencies that market to other agencies are bad at marketing agencies and we fill that need, right? We are the marketing company that is good at marketing agencies. So that is a product that's selling itself. And we got there by talking to customers uh, and, and iterating, right? Like we started as a content 
company selling blog posts. Then we started selling cold emails for everyone. Uh, it was only at the beginning of this year, maybe March, that we decided to niche down 100% on agencies. And that's when the business actually started taking off. So it's going to take a while to find that niche. But Peter Drucker is saying, as soon as you find it, uh, as soon as you find it, your business is going to take off. And that should be the aim of you as a business owner or you as a marketer. It's to find what, what that tweak is that's going to get the business to take off. He also said, it is doubtful that regardless of how effective a marketing function performs, it will not eliminate the need for personal selling, particularly in the business or industrial market. Even though the product sells itself, you're still going to need to hop on that initial sales call almost always, unless you're selling something that's so low cost that somebody can just buy direct on your site, like something under $100. So personal selling is still important, but if you have a product that people actually want, the marketing is going to do so much of the work and your sales cycle is going to be so much shorter if you're selling people on something that they actually need. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more B2B sales training. Like this video to encourage this type of content on YouTube. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks.